I wondered why Tapsi Pannu, with her first production venture, thought of executing a remake of a Spanish film that released in 2010 titled Julia's Eyes. An actor who has now created a niche for herself in really being a part of psychological whodunit thrillers. Even though Game Over is the only original thriller over the years which I believe was one of her strongest ventures, with Badla, Dobara and now Blur, there seems to be a genuine fascination of Tapsi for the genre and its elements. Blur, available on Z5 and directed by Ajay Behel, focuses on twin sisters Gautami and Gayatri played by Tapsi Pannu. Upon feeling that something has gone astray, Gayatri urges her husband Neil, played by Gulshan Devaya, to take her to her sister's house, only to discover that she has presumably committed suicide. Distraught at the very thought that her sister can take such a drastic decision, Gayatri is convinced that her sister has not committed suicide and that there was someone in the house with her during her last minutes. The inquiries regarding the case and the several creepy revelations that follow, leading to many deaths in this eerie ghost-like town in the hills of Uttarakhand, forms the basic storyline of Blur. Here's me telling you the good and bad aspects of the film so that you guys can ultimately decide whether to watch the movie on Z5 or not. The Underwhelming Aspects Loopholes and Ultimate Motivation The film has the ability to both from a screenplay and visual standpoint to absolutely engage you as the ultimate revelation is kept at bay very skillfully, but as the climax of the film comes closer, your pragmatic brain definitely switches on in pointing out the fallacies or vague connotation regarding the case and the ultimate motivation. While I can't do a deep dive completely without giving away spoilers, but it ranges from Polaroid cameras and there being a need of a red development room, and the case of you easily knowing an undercurrent of something suspicious, leading to the big reveal not being that shocking anymore. I think the only demerit of the film is that the motivation showcased of the antagonist causing havoc is rather vague and weak. And even though the performance of the same character really hooks you in with their creepy connotation, the reasons for said gruesome actions is rather odd. The original film also had the ability to create a distinct empathetic connection between the twins which was not really explored in this adaptation. This is also the case of me nitpicking the finer details as holistically, especially for those who have not seen the original Spanish film, this really does account for a thrilling and borderline creepy watch. The Good Stunningly Shot one of the distinct features of Blur is how exceptionally it is shot. Sudhir K. Chaudhary really does transport you to a sense of dread absolutely devoid of happiness or joy in this film. Having done work in Drishim 2, he has really created an exceptional atmosphere, an environment having no colour whatsoever. Most of the frames showcase a grey tone, sequences are usually placed with torrential rain and thunder and even fog covering even its palatial landscape or surroundings. Even though the film is set in the hills around the environment, there is a suffocating, almost insular feeling the film provides for you. There is a brilliant back and forth between the circumstances at hand and the POV of the degenerative eyesight of Tapsi's character that almost acts as a sign of the worst to come. Anxiety and threats loom around the corner and it's indicative through Tapsi's slow loss of vision. It is truly visually brilliant. Sound Design and Staging one of the things that impressed me the most about this film was the sound design by Shahab Alam that really heightens the tension and adds a horrifying tone to the events that transpire in the screenplay. This is also combined with brilliant staging that sets certain characters out of frame, making you believe the worst is right around the corner. My anxiety definitely was at its peak as I had forgotten about the turn of events of the original film, whether it be a comforting hand appearing in the frame or a looming presence of someone in the room. An adept staging and sound design really keeps the tension at an all-time high during the running time of this film. Eerie horror and a slasher thriller For those who are privy to the original Spanish film, one would know that its strongest quality is that it creates a balance between being an eerie horror and a slasher thriller with great skill. I think one of the main reasons why you will be thoroughly engaged with Blur is the execution by the director Ajay Behel, who previously directed Section 375. While the movie starts as a whodunit, it sprinkles the same with such horrifying and creepy set pieces and characters, it really does account for a scary watch at night. This set piece in a wellness centre as Tapsi is surrounded by blind women in a shower could be a parallel story in itself. Or what are their individual stories? Genuinely scary and heightened even further by a nightmare as she is tormented by ghosts of the past. This back and forth between being a horror and a thriller really does not showcase an abrupt tonality but a skillful use of both the genres. Interesting characters and a creepy surprise The ingredients of a thriller are set perfectly when you have odd characters surrounding the unfortunate events. You've got a has-been actor creepy cat lady, an old subordinate in a dingy hotel, an oddball father and her introvert but lurking daughter. All of this accounts for great ingredients for a thriller. 
Gulshan Devaiya as the husband has little to do other than react to the circumstances but really does hit home the animosity and undercurrent between the couple in his silences. Tapsi really does deliver in sequences where she has to deal with the threats head on especially when blindfolded and carrying out basically choreography across the house but I wish for her to switch up her dialogue delivery as it becomes more of the same actor just set in different circumstances across thrillers there is an absolutely wild revelation and performance that exudes all the creepiness required for the role in the climax that I will leave for you to witness yourself What I love about Blur is because it is not bound by a certificate with its theatrical run it develops to become twisted and gory as it should and for those who have not seen the original spanish film this movie is bound to give you chills and creeps absolutely necessary for this genre and that was a video guys write down in the comments below what you thought about the movie Please don't forget to follow me on Instagram the handle is right in front of you follow me at jammy pants4 also please support us by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel for weekly content ahead thank you for watching